Welcome to Automation Academy TV. Our tutorial for today is Electrician Energy Questions and Answer, Part 3, Basic Math. My question is how much math we need to become an electrician. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss and give some example of electrician math. This is very helpful when you are applying for a job as well as electrician already in the field. We need electrician math for the following reason. Example, like converting percentage to decimal like 125% equals to 1.25. Also, multiply the value of the load and sizing circuit breaker and correct angle for bending conduit to protect the route of electrical wire when wiring a building or structure. Let's do it and help me out. But first, we're going to discuss the interview tips for electricians. Number one, practice and repeat. What's my video? Number two, Get ready ahead of time. Try to be calm and control your emotion and drink water first before you start. You need to research the company and look at their website. Be on time means early, at least 30 minutes before the interview. Keep your answer concise and focused. Do not speak negatively about your previous employers. Bring copies of your resume, a notebook, and pen. Be prepared with a list of examples of your previous job. Follow up at the interview. Question number one. How many minutes in one day? Answer. We know that one day is equals to 24 hours and one hour is equals to 60 minutes. 24 times 60 is equals 1,440 minutes. Next question. How many hours and minutes in one year? Note, one year is equals 365 days. 365 days equals 24 hours over one day. We are going to cancel the days to become hours. 365 times 24 hours equals 8760 hours. 8760 hours equals one hour is equals to 60 minutes. To become minutes, we are going to cancel the hours. 8,760 times 60 minutes equals 525,600 minutes. How are you going to convert 70% to decimal? Answer. Divide 75 by 100. This can also be written as 75 slash 100 or 75 divided by 100. The result is 0.75, meaning that 75% is the same as 0.75. What is the equivalent 0.25 decimal unit to fraction? 0.25 is equals quarter. 0.5 is equal half ends. 0.75 is equals three quarter. How are you going to convert one fourth to decimal? Divide the denominator, the bottom part, into the numerator, the top part. Look at the example, one over four, and the number form, one divided by four, equals 0.25. What is the square root of 144? Using your calculator, the answer is 12. Next question. The square of 4, also use your calculator, x raised to the 2, the answer is 16. What is the freezing point of water? Answer, 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. What is the weight of U.S. gallon of water? 8.33 pounds or 3.785 kilogram at room temperature. What is the formula of temperature conversion? For the formula of degree Celsius, degree Celsius equals open parenthesis degree Fahrenheit minus 32 close parenthesis times 5 over 9. For the formula of degree Fahrenheit, Degree Fahrenheit equals open parenthesis, degree Celsius times 9 over 5, close parenthesis plus 32. How many square inches in square foot? Note that 1 feet is equals 12 inches, or 1 square feet is equals to 12 square inches. 1 feet times 1 feet is also equals to 12 inches times 12 inches, is equals 144 inches. What are the three equations of Ohm's law? A equals I times R, 
i equals a over r, r equals a over i. What is the formula of series and parallel circuit? This is the simple circuit. This is the series circuit. This is the parallel circuit. This is the formula of series circuit. RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. Let's read the example of series circuit. A three-pieces lamp connected in series having a resistance of 3, 5, and 9 ohms. What is the total resistance? Using our formula, RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. RT equals 3 plus 5 plus 9. RT equals 17 ohms. And this is the formula of parallel circuit. 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and so on. How much the current of 5 horsepower conveyor motor connected to a single phase 230 volts with 80% power factor? Note, 1 horsepower is equals to 746 watts. This is the power formula with respect to motors. P equals VI power factor. V is for voltage, I is for current, and PF is for power factor. And if we are going to find the formula of current, I equals P over B times power factor. Solution to the problem above. In this problem, the given is 5 horsepower, 230 volts, and 80% power factor. Solution. First, we're going to convert the 5 horsepower to watts. 5 times 746 watts equals 3730 watts. We already convert the horsepower to watts. The answer is 3730 watts. Now we're going to substitute. 3730 watts divided by 230 volts times 0.8 power factor. The current is 20 amperes. For our three-phase formula, P equals square root of 3 voltage times current times power factor. And the square root of 3 is constant. If we're going to get the current of a three-phase motor, it's the same procedure on single phase, except that we're just going to add the square root of 3 because it is 120 degrees apart. What is the speed of four-pole induction motor at 50 hertz? The formula is N equals 2 times F times 60 over P, or 120 times F over P, where speed of motor is synchronous speed. F equals frequency measured in hertz. P is the number of pull per phase. The answer is N equals 2 times 50 times 60 over 4 equals 1500 RPM, or revolution per minute.